And with more people switching their air conditioning on, we wanted to know what that strain could do to the power grid. KSHB 41's Caroline Hogan talked with the Board of Public Utilities about their efforts to keep the lights and air on. You know, we have 63, uh, excuse me, 65,000 electric customers, 53,000 water customers, and the population's like 165, 166. The Board of Public Utilities covers KCK and parts of Wyandotte County. What we have is in KCK is a very large industrial base, which is unusual. So we have a large General Motors plant, uh, the big KU Med Center. And those guys take a lot of power. So it's up to BPU to make sure no one in the area goes without it. Making sure that we have enough uh, load to, to, to provide reliable power for all our customers, all our customer classes, and then they're also in constant contact with the Southwest Power Pool and others to make sure that um, they're getting enough power on the grid, we're having enough supply to our customers. So when does this become a cause for concern? That's something that they rank on a scale that looks like this. We're here right now, a resource advisory. The only time we've ever been here, the highest level was during the polar vortex in 2021. So we're a ways away from there. Uh, the reason why we're really well positioned because of our diversity of fuel mix, which makes a big difference. And also, we don't um, have issues with, with gas resources this time of year like we would in the wintertime. David said, really, the bigger concern is for the customers. High heat means higher prices for AC. But for now, David says not to expect any rolling blackouts during the summer, even for a 100-year-old utility. We're confident right now that we're not going to end up with one of those uh, once in a lifetime things, but anything's possible. Reporting in KCK, Caroline Hogan, KSHB 41 News.